We're here with a sample of the louvered roof system. It's actually a motorized louvered roof system. Here's a small sample of the mechanical side. Uh, the way the roof is built is a set of what we call rafters, and these are really aluminum beams that uh, on top hold a, a finger-like bracket that supports each louver. So the first step is to place the rafters across the steel structure or pergola, whatever you're placing the roof on top of, roughly about five feet apart. Uh, I'm going to rotate this to show you uh, how the uh, rafter is built. There's a lower section and an upper section. The upper section, of course, houses the bracketry and the linkage for the roof blades themselves. The lower section is separated by a, a just a piece of aluminum in between them. Uh, is a becomes a chase. It adds strength, rigidity to the uh, to the uh, rafter itself, but it also provides a chase base for uh, electrical or perhaps gas pipe if you're adding heat to the system. Uh, the heaters would of course would hang from the rafters at the desired level. Once the rafters are all up, uh, the next step is then is to place the louvers into the uh, finger-like brackets here at each location. Um, so each louver is then placed individually, snapped in. At these, it's a snap mechanical fit, so no screws or any tools are really required. It's just a matter of getting individual louvers up into the uh, on top and having uh, several crew members snap them in place. Now you'll notice that the design of the louver, and by the way this is all extruded aluminum, so even the, the uh, rafter and the louver are made out of uh, extruded aluminum, so it's lightweight, rigid, will last a long time, it's also powder coated, so it's a strong finish for weather, and uh, it's very light, so it can, uh, the steel structure required or the wood pergola required to support it is not, doesn't have to be that robust. It also is rated for up to 80 pounds per square foot for snow load, and if installed properly, can handle up to 180 mile an hour wind, so near hurricane winds would not affect the roof. Now you'll see there's a unique shape to the louver, sort of an S shape, an extended S shape, and that's important because remember when we close the roof, we want it of course to block out the sunshine, but more importantly we want to block out the rain with no leaks. So you see now that I've got the louvers in the closed position, each of the louvers creates a little, what I'll call a miniature little gutter. And so water that finds its way in between the two, in between louvers, will work its way into the little mini gutter that we've created by closing the louvers. Now with the roof at a slight tilt, you can plainly see that the water will then spill out of each one of these along the entire perimeter of the roof. And of course then we can either let that water drip onto the ground if it's outside the, the patio itself, and that's a, actually a kind of an interesting artistic effect when you have columns of water coming out of each of the louver mini gutters. Or the other option is, is to place a normal conventional gutter against this rafter and then the water would of course be channeled away to one corner of the roof. When we're done installing the rafters and the louvers, the final touch then is for the better look is we have a variety of cover plates or cover caps that can be placed in uh, onto the ends, and we have some fancier ones. This is the, the plain one to uh, enclose the ends of the rafters, and we can actually change the appearance of the roof uh, with different versions of this cap, uh, depending on you know artistic uh, and aesthetic uh, desire. So that pretty much is a complete louvered roof. It's fairly simple, but yet very effective.